some more examples about logarithm here is the question question number one say that logarithm p is equal to x say that logarithm q is equal to y and say that logarithm r is equal to z so the question is um, write logarithm p over q r cube q r cube to the power of 2 in terms of x, y, and z. Okay, so what are we going to do here? First of all, I should expand the um, expression given. What will I do? Since there is power here, I will move the power in the front. Okay, let's change the color of it. All right, so this is going to be 2 times logarithm p over q times r cubed. If there is a division in the logarithm, what do I do? I can expand it in a way that two times, um, let's open a bracket here, it's going to be logarithm p minus, I'm applying the laws, logarithm q r q. Then afterwards, let's continue, two times logarithm p. Here, there is multiplication, q times r cubed. So how do I expand it? I can expand it as logarithm q plus logarithm r cubed. So can I go a step further here? Yes, because there is the power. I can put the power in the front. So 2 times bracket logarithm p minus logarithm q plus 3 times logarithm r. And I can expand the minus, so 2 times logarithm p minus logarithm q minus 3 times logarithm r. And I can expand to 2 logarithm p minus 2 logarithm q minus 6 logarithm r. And substitute the values. What is logarithm p? x. So 2 times x, 2x. Minus, what is logarithm q? y, 2y. Minus what is logarithm r? Z, 6 z. So that's the final answer. Let's look at an equation here. Number two. The question is solve 3 to the power of x is equal to root 5. Now, if the power is unknown, absolutely, there is no, there is no um, statement here, use logarithm. But if the power is unknown, uh, we use the logarithm. Uh, so what does, what does that mean? So, in order to find x, I will take both sides logarithm. So, the power will come in the front. x times log 3 is equal to log root 5. Then, x will be both sides divided by logarithm 3. I can eliminate that. So, x is equal to... So, <coughs> in order to find the answer, I will just use the calculator. Logarithm or root 5 divided by logarithm 3. So, that the answer will be... 0.732. That's the final answer. Let's have a look at another equation question, number three. So what is given to us is logarithm 2 base x plus 2 plus logarithm 2 base x minus 2 is equal to 3. And the question is solve. So there is logarithm, two logarithms here, and the same base, and there is addition in between. So I can contract them. So logarithm two base, I can write as x plus two times x minus two, that's equal to three. How can I write this function as the index form? So remember the first law, two to the power of three will be equal to x plus two, x minus two. So two to the power of three is eight. If you expand this function, it's going to be a squared minus b squared. Or you can expand it one by one, which is the long way. So 8 is equal to x squared minus 4 minus 4 move other side plus 4. 8 plus 4 is equal to x squared. So x squared is equal to 12. There's a very important thing here. So when I take square root of x squared, the answer will be, since this is a quadratic equation, because there is square here, you must have two answers. So this is going to be plus minus, what is root 12? Let's check it out. Root 12 is equal to 3.46 plus minus 3.46. So we got two answers. But do you think the both answers satisfy our logarithm rule? Because when we substitute this x value into the logarithm here, this number cannot be less than 0. 
But when you substitute 3.46 here, uh, negative 3.46, sorry, instead of x, if I substitute negative 3.46, if you write it there, instead of x, substitute negative 3.46, negative 3.46. So this is going to be negative 3.46 plus 2, negative 1.46. This number cannot be negative if you remember the logarithm rule. Remember, logarithm a base b, a and b must be greater than 0. So if you substitute instead of x negative 3.46 minus 2, that makes negative 5.46, this number is going to be negative, which is unacceptable. Therefore, x is equal to negative 3.46 and impossible solution. So x must be equal to 3.46. Mathematically, we have two answers, but for this question, one of the answers do not satisfy the Conditions, therefore, there is only one answer. You have to be very careful about that when you are finding the solution. Okay, let's look at another example here. This time, let's, let's do some examples about natural logarithm. Number four, what's the difference between natural logarithm, ln, with uh, the normal logarithm? ln x cubed is equal to one. The only difference is, the only difference, all the rules are same, the only difference is natural logarithm, say a, the base is always e. We don't write it, but we know that the base is e, like logarithm 10 base. Everything is base e. There is no other base, it's only e. So if you look at this question here, we have um, two natural logarithms, there is addition in between. So like logarithm, they are same base, both of them are e. So what? how can I contract them? I can say that uh, root x times root x cubed is equal to 1. So ln, uh, radicands, the, the, the index are same. I can multiply the radicands. x times x cubed is equal to 1. So that makes ln root x to the power of 4 is equal to 1. What is root x to the power of 4? It's going to be x squared is equal to 1. So then uh, what is the base of ln? Base of ln is e. So how do I write it as index form? e to the power of 1 is equal to x squared. So x squared is equal to e. Then if I take square root, then x going to be plus minus root e. Now, plus minus, can I substitute instead of x here, negative root e? Uh, root cannot be negative number. Therefore, mathematically, there are two answers, but there is only one answer. x is equal to root, root e. Okay, so um, let's 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 go for some other examples. Uh, another example here. Let's change the color of it. Um, number five. Uh, so what is it? Ln x times y is equal to three. Ln um, x minus ln y is equal to one. Uh, the question is find x. These are very common ln questions. So how can I expand ln x times y? Remember logarithm rule. It's going to be ln x plus ln y is equal to 3. The next equation is ln x minus ln y is equal to 1. What does it resemble to you? Well, this is kind of simultaneous equations. If I add both equations, plus ln y, negative ln y is 0. ln x plus ln x, it's going to be 2 ln x is equal to 3 plus 1 is 4. Both sides divided by 2 ln x is equal to 2. So how can I write it as index form? The base is e, e squared is equal to x. So we found x. So we substitute this x in any of one of the equations here. Let's substitute it here. ln instead of x write e squared plus ln y is equal to 3. So square comes in the front to ln e plus ln y is equal to 3. What is the base of ln? Natural logarithm e. If base and the number is same, what is the result? The result will be 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus ln y is equal to 3. ln y is equal to 3 minus 2. ln y is equal to 1. How can I write it as index form? Base is e. e to the power of 1 is y. So y is equal to e. Final result. Okay, let's go for another different question. Number 6. This time, they give us logarithm 3 is equal to x logarithm 5 is equal to y, logarithm 7 is equal to z. And the question is, write logarithm 225 over 7 in terms of x, y, and z. Write in terms of 
x, y, 